Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13 and this is your weekly tarot card forecast for December 11th through December 17th, 2016. I'm actually not shuffling the cards right now because I've tried to record this numerous times and one of which I actually pulled the cards so I already have them down so I'm not shuffling. I just find it kind of amusing. I'm going to tell you guys because this doesn't usually affect me this way, but um, Mercury is in shadow right now. I don't know if you pay attention to astrology or not, but Mercury is in shadow and that affects communications and technology and all that stuff. And it usually doesn't bother me that much and I usually don't have effects from it. Um, I don't know if it's because of the placement of my houses or whatever, but it usually doesn't bother me. And this time, I, it's like I've tried to record a bunch of times. So, so hopefully we'll just we'll push through for the next several weeks of videos, and hopefully we won't have this problem every time. But I've already got the cards pulled. Uh, I've got an idea of what's going to be coming up this week because I've already started to read them. But let's start again, and hopefully it won't be a whole big thing. Okay. So in your, oh, I didn't even do my intro, sorry, I just got all distracted. Three cards, one for work and financial life, one for love and romantic life, one for home and family life. In your work and financial life, we have the Ace of Swords reversed. This is feeling stuck, um, things not going as fast as you want them to in your job. You may feel, um, like, anxious because you want things to be going a little bit smoother, or um, faster and because of that maybe you're feeling like um, a little bit powerless like you want to change something or you want to do something but you don't just have the chance to do it just yet um, they could be that things are taking longer than you thought so if it's not that you want to get started on a project but you can't it's like you want to maybe complete a project and you can't do that either it's just kind of like a slowing of things at work. Try not to let it affect you in that like anxiety kind of way. Um, try not to let it get you down because it is just the energy of the week and that's just kind of how the week's going to be. So if you just know that that's how it's going to be, you can kind of just be like, all right, this is how it is. I can't do anything about it. So I'm just going to let the energy go this week and hopefully either catch up or finish up whatever needs to be done next week. Um, so just kind of roll with the punches and I'll just give you a heads up that is the theme <laughs> for this week just kind of think about things next week that's the week's theme in your love and romantic life we have the fool reversed and this is also kind of an inability to move forward um, might be feeling stuck in your love life or um, if you are feeling like you want to just dive into something, this is a caution to make sure you know what you are diving into because you might be walking off a cliff. <laughs> so, um, again, that dichotomy between, you know, wanting to jump and not knowing what you're jumping into or feeling like you can't jump. As I said, the theme this week is to wait. <laughs> That's the theme. So we've got that you know, in your work, here again in your love life, and in your home and family life. I told you, I'm kind of rushing through this one because I want to make sure that I hit all of the cards before my computer does something crazy at me again. Hopefully it won't, but I'm trying to get everything recorded before it does, so bear with me. I know I'm kind of blowing through these cards this week, and if you have questions or you want me to expand on anything, just put, you know, comments down below, and I'll definitely give you more if you find that you're wanting more, but I know I'm kind of trying to rush, so. Okay, home life. We have the Four of Swords reversed. And guess what this is? Relax, rest, take a break, take a minute, take a beat. <laughs> Don't move forward, just wait. In your home life as well. I told you, major theme this week is to just wait till next week. Um, as I said, rest, relax, take time, reflect. Um, if you need clarity on something, do some meditation. He is kind of laying down with his hands like that over his chest. And so that to me makes me think of meditation as well. So just take some time this week. Don't, I mean, you need to live life. I can't be like, don't do anything this week. And it's not even that. It's not even like don't do anything out of like fear or something. It's like, 
you know, you try to do things and you might have to revisit them because you're not supposed to be doing them this week. You're, you might get frustrated that, you know, you want to move forward and you can't. And I think it's kind of funny that that's exactly <laughs> what I've experienced. Maybe it's not the the Mercury retro. Maybe that's not what's messing up my laptop. Maybe it's the energy that I've got going on in the room now, like from, you know, channeling what's supposed to be going on this week. Maybe that's what's my experiencing it in an attempt to record this video. You know, maybe it's that. It's like, all right, I'm going to try and do this again, and it may or may not work, but I... I'm trying to move forward and I can't move forward. I'm being like blocked or hindered, you know, in, in trying to advance. And so you just need to st take a step back and just let the energy roll. So that, <laughs> that might be why too. But that's really what I'm getting as this overall message with these cards in every single aspect of your life this week. It looks like you just need to wait. You just need to like rest and relax and wait because you might be just hitting roadblocks if you try to advance. Again, this is the energy only for one week. So, I mean, I assume it's one week. I haven't done next week's reading yet. <laughs> but hopefully it's only for one week. Um, and just know that things will pick back up. You know, life is sometimes in like ebbs and flows. And right now we're just like in a lull where we need to wait and kind of let the energy change and things will be different later. Just know, don't try to force anything this week because it's not going to work out the way that you want it to. It's better than, I mean, to just embrace that like, all right, this is how it's going to be. Just embrace that energy for this week instead of trying to force things because that's where you get that um, anxiety of, you know, one of the things I said is you're going to feel powerless and feel anxious. And I think that's if you try to force things this week. If you try to push through things, you're going to feel frustrated at the roadblocks that are presented in your path. It's just not time yet. <laughs> it's just not time to move forward yet, really kind of in any area. So, you know, sometimes we get that in one week, not another, but this spread with all areas of life, it's better to just wait. Just wait this week. That's the big message I have for you. See, and I thought it was going to be short. I was trying to rush through the cards and it ended up being seven minutes anyway. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull a daily tarot card every day reading the energy of that specific day. Thanks so much for watching guys, and we will see you next week.